Hey everybody, welcome to Forest County Outback again. So this is, well that sound you hear in the background is the helicopter trimming power lines. So anyhow, this is episode five, the Yellowhammer Sawmill. And this was one of my original Facebook videos and was published in April of 2020. And it was kind of, for me, it was kind of a special trip which I'll talk about later in the video. So with that, here we go. Hi, uh, this is Forest County Outback, episode five. And we're going someplace new today that I've never been to. It was, uh, it's related to the uh, Braceville video. I got a tip off that there was another mill site downstream from, um, from Braceville. So what, what I did, I drove out on, on 666 and turned on the Forest Service Road 449. Went about a half mile, stopped at the first pull off on the left. And there's a trail back here that goes down Wolf Run down to Beaver Run. And we're going to go down there and then start working our way upstream towards Braceville. And like I said, I've never been here. I don't know what, if anything, we will find. But uh, we'll go see what we can. Okay, we found it. Uh, not much really to see. Pile of cut stone. This would have been the um, been the boiler house. They always seem to house those in a brick or a or a stone structure. <laughs> I was beginning to wonder, but there it is. Okay, it's from the uphill side. weren't paying attention, you could walk right by it. It's probably not showing up on a camera real well. But as far as, there doesn't seem to be any sign of a dam here. But there is, over here, there's a squared off timber in the creek. So any kind of wooden structure, it's really sandy down in here and the stream meanders around. Any kind of wooden structure, sign of that would have been, would be long gone. But across the creek, there's an opening over there. Uh, I'd walked up about 100 yards up the creek, didn't see anything else. But there is an open spot across the creek that would bear investigation because there would have been cabins or houses here or something that uh, I did not bring. Yeah, I did not wear my muck boots and I really need to, I don't feel like walking, walking home with wet feet. So that'll be another day over there. And there's another look. I don't, I'm not sure if that's a timber. It must be another timber there. And then there's more over here. Huh. So this must have been where the mill was. And as far as any information on this thing, I don't have any. Other than, like I said, I got a heads up that it was that it was here.
And there's another timber here. Uh, it looks squared off. It's, it's been eroded. That looks like that was squared off, and that's about the right length match up with the other ones up there. So. I think when I go out, I'm gonna. There's a lease road up here. I'm gonna try to catch that. It should be an easier way to get in and out. I'm not really seeing any any evidence of a dam here. Okay, we got another timber here. So you got the one down there, this one, these ones in the creek here, or you know, they're all in the creek. Those ones there, and then that one up there. Huh. And then There's the stones. Yeah, I walked around here. I didn't see any, any other sign of anything else on this side of the, out of the creek. Like I said, the other side. I'll have to come back another day and investigate that when I got my waders. A good excuse to go fishing. To get here, I think you might be better off to come down from Braceville because we're uh, not too far from there. It's not not that much further upstream, so it'd be better it'd be better to come that way than the way I did. Here, looks looking down here this looks like it might be might have been a a dam across here is it what lines up with that rise over there <laughs> cool Okay, time for time to head home here. Okay, I didn't get very far here and I found something else. There is a stone pile here. And it looks like there might have been something here. The mill is over that way, just about 30 yards or so. And there's this group of stones here. Now, this definitely warrants more investigation. Now, we don't have any photos of this mill, but it was a small mill. And these photographs are kind of a similar to what would have been there. Okay, that was uh, Yellowhammer, and that was actually quite a hike in and out of here. Uh, <clears throat> a couple of people have asked me how I know about all these things. I mean, when I started doing these video, was planning these videos, I made a list and I came up with 52 places to go. And 
I've been asked, you know, how do you know about all these places? Well, I've always been interested in history, and when I, I moved to Forest County, I made acquaintance of a couple guys who had grown up in the 20s and 30s here. And, you know, they like to talk about the old days. You know, we picked up a lot of information that way. And then I uh, made acquaintance with a guy that's closer to my age. Uh, a lot of people, Wig Hill and Kellville, I'm sure remember him, Noose Clark. And he was really interested in history. And we uh, got to uh, comparing information and that. And eventually we started hiking and, you know, seeking these places out. And uh, Noose became really, he really became a good friend. And uh, <clears throat> anyhow, uh, Yellowhammer. We had been told about it. It was on our on our radar, and before we even could make a trip, uh, New took ill, and he uh, sadly passed away. And I had forgotten all about it. And when I did the graceful video, somebody sent a post, and they mentioned the Yellowhammer Mill, and, and I, I remembered all that, and remembered that was a trip that Noose and I didn't make. Decided today, you know what? I'm going to go find it, and I did. And uh, you know, so when Noose and I went out on these trips, we always ended up with Cougar Bob's, have, have a couple cold ones, and uh, kind of debrief and plan our next trip. Well, I can't stop at Cougar Bob's today. Noose Buddy, wherever you are, we found it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. In the video I said I had no information on the sawmill. Uh, since then I found out a few things. It operated between 1876 and 1881. It probably longer than that, but those are the two firm dates I have. And it was owned by a guy named Sanford Holbrook. Now he was a uh, he was a minor player in lumber industry in Forest County at that time. And he later partnered with Teddy Collins. He was a junior partner when Teddy Collins bought the uh, Ford and Lacey mills at Nebraska. And I, I believe he was also a partner in, in when Collins bought the Galenza mill. And they later parted ways from what I can gather with, as with a lot of Collins partners, eventually he ditched most of them and it was not always a, a pleasant uh, parting. And Holbrook, after this moved on to Cincinnati where he had a lumber distribution yard down there. So anyhow, if you like it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share. Okay, share it with your friends, share it with your enemies, your spouse, your ex-spouse, future ex-spouses, uh, anybody you can think of. Okay, let's get the word out there. And thanks, and we'll see you again.